Hey everyone hope you are doing good this is Shujata and today i am going to show you how i gave a makeover to my entryway door so let's get started so this is the wall and the door and we recently painted this wall and as you can see there are tiles at the bottom of this wall which i really don't like so i am covering it with wallpaper i got from flipkart so i'll talk more about this wallpaper in my upcoming video for now we will only focus on this door so this is how the wall is looking after covering up the tiles now we will paint this door so there is already wooden color on it which has faded away to some extent and we had to uh, paint that door so i thought why don't i make something unique on this door and for that i am taking fabricrel acrylic colors actually i was going to go for chalk paint but they are really expensive so i am using the fabricrel acrylic colors here and here i am using orange shade and i have toned it down with some white here i give a first coat of that paint on this door including the frame now we we'll let it dry for one day and now i am going to paint a sunset sky on this door and for that i have uh, painted the upper portion with uh, red and the middle portion with orange and the very bottom part with chrome yellow next i am giving some touches here and there with a red yellow and white shade here how it's looking right now next we'll paint the setting sun some flying birds with black acrylic color this is what i had in my mind that i would draw but the lower portion of the door was looking a little empty i had to draw something there but at the same time i didn't want to crowd this place so i went for this single lamp post Okay, we are almost done with the painting. Now, as this door is in my uh, veranda or entryway, it gets ample daylight and heat, and so I had to protect this color with varnish. And for varnish, I am using Itsy Bitsy's varnish, and I am using a uh, soft cotton cloth to spread the varnish out. And it's almost ready. Now we'll decorate it further with some uh, decor pieces. And this is a mask. This is called Cho Mask of Purulia, and I got it from Choridha Village. It's in Purulia, and the small paper mache mask are also from Purulia. Changing the curtain into this sheer one, and this one is from Amazon. And no makeover is complete without plants. So I think some of them here also. Here's how it turned out.
please don't hesitate to give your feedback on this project uh, some of you might like this idea some of you might not whatever your opinion is please feel free to comment down below also i have this whole baranda transformed so make sure you stay connected for more updates that's it for today thank you so much for staying with me and i will see you soon with another video till then take care bye